consume and interact with content. SetFM is an easy way to capture, share, and sell high quality audio only recordings of live performances in real time. And artists around the world, from large artists to small artists, are using it to create new fan engagement and revenue opportunities for their live shows. Over the last 18 months, we've created a catalog of over 1,500 live recordings in 650 venues around the world. So beginning about 15 years ago, with the launch of the original Napster in 1999, the perceived value of studio recorded music has steadily declined. And the reason is that fans no longer had to pay for music. And today, they're willing to pay for convenient access to music on the premium music services like iTunes, Spotify, and Pandora. But the reason why they're not really paying for music is that these platforms don't provide a marketing tool for the artists to differentiate and target their marketing messages to the right fan with the right product at the right time. So artists are more and more turning towards live music as their really only source for a real return for their talents. And in fact, uh, in the last couple of years, almost 80% of total take-home revenue or income by artists is coming from live music. Um, I should also say, at the same time, consumers are spending more and more on live concert spending, be it ticket purchases, merchandise, uh, VIP experiences. Um, but live music is forecast to reach $30 billion globally by 2017. So in fact, it really is the biggest booming part of the music industry. So in my many years of building massive content services for companies like AT&T and Samsung, I've learned that it's critical to think about the sales psychology of your user when designing any sort of product or business model. And we know that for any kind of content, there's a curve of emotional attachment. And for music, it's never higher than right at the end of the show. Well, unlike any kind of sales, there's a corollary between purchase propensity and emotional attachment. So the live concert recording that's available seconds after the end of the show is the only service that really takes advantage of this heightened emotional attachment which allows us to drive higher price points of 5, 10, 15, 20, even $30 um, for our content. So we've created a suite of consumer and artist facing applications to enable this real time publishing and discovery. Our ZFM <laughs> Studio recording application is an application for iOS, PC, and Mac. We've also created plugins so that the professional recording engineer can use their high end recording solutions such as Pro Tools and Logic. On the consumer side, we've created a suite of beautiful applications for both mobile and web for the discovery, sharing, purchase, and consumption of live content seconds after the end of the show. So we recently expanded our uh, early efforts from the small local hobbyist artists to the professional independent artists. And what we've seen is an increase in the total revenue per show from about $20 to about $130 per show while only increasing the audience size from about 100 to 200. So what this is telling us is that there's much greater intrinsic value in the content the larger the artist that you get. So we expect to see the per user revenue per show increase from about 65 cents now into the one to two or three dollar range as we start working with more mid and large artists. Our consumer marketing is generally focused on two things, in-venue marketing and online digital marketing. We educate and coordinate with the artists to affect their own on-site marketing. And then we've taken more on ourselves to do some more of the digital marketing online through Facebook advertising and Twitter advertising. We've seen as high as a 21% audience conversion rate from the in-venue marketing, but average about 10%. And on the online digital marketing, we've seen as much as an 800% ROI on some of our advertising dollars. And now that we're feature complete in the service, we're really expanding our business development focus to more mid and large artists, labels, venues, management companies, and channel partners. And in fact, this is already starting to bear fruit. So we recently signed deals with the notable independent labels such as Network and Minor Records, and are currently deep in negotiations with Sony Records to bring their Latin roster on the service. We've also just recently uh, received confirmation that we'll likely be at the ACL Festival later on this year. And as recently as yesterday, I received confirmation of our participation in the 420 Fest uh, in Atlanta in April. So ACL, 150,000 people over uh, two weekends, 100 bands, that should be a one to two million dollar revenue opportunity for us. The Sweetwater 420 Festival is 50,000 people, 100 bands. We expect that to be a 250 to 500,000 dollar weekend for us. Uh, our financial model is really simple. Uh, artists can set the price from zero to as high as they like, and on every transaction a fan has the opportunity to tip. 
we deduct any transaction fee and reasonable marketing costs off the top, and we split the remainder 70-30 in favor of the artist. Currently, no other company has solved the problem of the instant digital downloads. There's a number of companies that will place shift concerts, and it's really a replacement for the concert, so you can stream it online. There are a couple of legacy solutions that do CD duplication and USB duplication, but nobody else has solved the instant digital download. Now, while our revenue growth during our product development phase has been slow, the renewed focus on the business development this year, we expect to see good early market penetration. Um, then quickly growing in the next few years to over $100 million over the next three years. With the live music industry growing to a $30 billion global opportunity by 2017, and our experience being able to increment live concert revenue by 10%, we believe that there is a huge opportunity for traditional music retailers, um, social media companies, labels, and uh, venues, uh, venue operators for our exit potential. But this really only takes into account music as our primary vertical. If we assume that we will expand to uh, conferences, public speaking, education, politics, and religion, we could easily see a tenfold increase in that valuation. So I've been at this for about 13 years and have managed over $300 million in music sales while I was at AT&T selling ringtones. I also was product leads for content services at Samsung and HTC. That also included the Beast by Dre music service while I was at HTC. My CTO, Kate and Judd, brings a deep experience building interactive music services for both major label and independent music. And most recently, we've added Jay Ziskrau as our Vice President of Sales, who brings a deep connection to the creative side of the industry. Jay was the original drummer for the band Bad Religion, and has since gone on to take executive positions at Arist Records, Epitaph Records, major music festivals like the CMJ Festival, and has run his own startup for the last seven years. So we currently have money in on this round from the Halo Fund and ATXC Ventures out of Austin. Uh, we're further engaging other area VCs, angel groups, and really connected individuals in the music industry. And I want to take this minute to talk about Charles Atal, who is one of the founders of C3 Presents. I met with Charles on Friday of last week, and within a few minutes of the discussion, his excitement was palpable. He kept rattling off, here's an idea, here's an idea, here's an idea. Oh, and by the way, you're raising some of your terms. So I, I left that meeting with great faith that he, and potentially his partners in C3 and Live Nation, are going to take part in this round, which getting validation from really the top of the live music industry um, will add a lot of um, valuable support as we go and engage larger artists and other venues. Okay. So thank you very much, and uh, I'd be happy to take any other questions that you might have. Thank you. 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 Thank you.